an outburst of pride and exhilaration following 15 tense minutes as Chandrayaan-3 made a soft landing on the moon after traveling 400,000 kilometers through space. India now joins an elite group of four nations, China, the former Soviet Union and the US, who have achieved this feat with India being the only nation that has landed on the uncharted South Pole. Sir, we have achieved soft landing on the moon. India is on the moon. On board the Chandrayaan-3 is the Vikram lander containing the six-wheeled Pragyan rover which will etch India's legacy on the moon. India's second moon mission rectified the failure of Chandrayaan-2 in 2019. Chandrayaan-2 cost around $96 million. At some $75 million, Chandrayaan-3 came in much cheaper. Some 7 million people witnessed the lunar landing livestream. Prime Minister Modi joined virtually from Johannesburg, where he is attending the BRICS summit. We have set many big and ambitious goals for the future. Soon, ISRO will launch the Aditya L1 mission for in-depth study of the sun. Following that, Venus is also on ISRO's agenda. Through the Gaganyam mission, the country is diligently preparing for its first human spaceflight mission. Chandrayaan-3 is expected to operate for a fortnight to run a series of experiments and collect data and images about the presence of frozen water in the craters on the dark side of the moon, along with analyzing the mineral composition of the lunar surface. In 2019, when Chandrayaan-2 crashed, we saw heartbreaking images of the then ISRO chief break down and cry. Today, there were only tears of joy and beaming smiles. The success of Chandrayaan-3 is an important step for India's space ambitions and a giant leap for global lunar missions. Smita Sharma, TRT World, New Delhi.